The next couple of guides I'm gonna be making are gonna be for the God Wars bosses. And to keep those guides as quick and to the point as possible, I'm gonna start by showing you all the basics about God Wars in this video, from how to get there, what gear you'll need, how to get KC and so on. At the end of this video I'll link my God Wars dungeon playlist so you'll be able to just click through to the boss you want to kill. Starting off with how to get there. You'll want to have 61 magic and have completed the Edgar's Ruse quest to use the Trollheim teleport. If you don't have this teleport unlocked, you'll have to teleport through Birthorp, bring a set of climbing boots and run all the way north through the troll area which definitely isn't recommended. You should bring a rune pouch to cast this spell to save you some inventory slots. The Trollheim teleport requires law and fire runes, but if you're bringing the rune pouch and you're on a normal spellbook, just also bring some nature runes so you can cast high level alchemy. If you don't have a rune pouch, or if you want to be on the Ancient or Archaea spellbook, you can also bring two Trollheim teleport tablets. These are made by using a scroll of redirection, which is a reward from the Nightmare Zone, on a house teleport. You should bring two tablets, teleport to Trollheim and then revert the leftover Trollheim teleport back to a teleport to house as your escape method. This will save you an inventory spot and give you an extra food for your trip. Then just run down the hill. Having 43 agility to get down these rocks is recommended to save you some time and run energy and continue northeast and run past these troller trolls with protect from range on and then continue north to the snowy area. You'll have to get past this boulder to enter the God Wars dungeon which will require you to have 70 strength or 70 agility. You can see that I have this fire going here. If you don't have that fire active there will be snow falling in this area which will drain your stats slightly and completely deplete your run and special attack energy which is really annoying. To build a fire you need to have completed the making friends with my arm quest and have 60 construction. Then just come here with the materials that are on screen now to light the fire. Then continue north, put on your protect from melee so you don't get hit by the wolves and climb down the hole. If it's your first time here you'll need to bring a rope to climb down. So now we are in the main area and there will be monsters that worship all four gods here. Every monster will aggro you unless you have a god item equipped from the god that they worship. You won't need to have 4 god items on you though, usually you can get away with just the item from the general you're going to kill plus the Zamorak item, because their Zamorakians come everywhere. For example, if you're gonna do bandos, you'll wanna have a piece of bandos and a piece of Zamorak equipped. Usually you'll bring some god dehydes that will count as your god item, or a piece of armadil or bandos armor. To enter the boss area you need to kill 40 of his followers, you can check this kill count in the top left. If you leave the dungeon at any time the counter will reset. Alternatively you can make use of an ecumenical key to enter the boss room, this makes you not have to get kill count. Ecumenical keys can be obtained in the wilderness godwars dungeon and I'll show you how to get those in a separate guide which you'll also be able to find in the playlist. To get the bandos KC just run a bit north here and you can find a clump of goblins. Killing 40 goblins here should take only around 5 minutes, so you really don't need an ecumenical key for bandos. The goblins frequently drop hammers which will come in handy. Once you got your 40 KC, run a bit west and you'll have to bang this door with the hammer to open it. A dragon war hammer works as well. Banging open the door will require you to have 70 strength. To get the Zamorak KC, you'll also want to go north and jump off the bridge into the water to enter Zamorak's fortress. This will require 70 hit points and will drain all of your prayer points. For you it'll be really dark here. If you want to brighten up the place you can use the Seradomin's light, which only costs around 80k, to remove the darkness if you find it annoying. You'll find 4 imp spawns, so just kill these 10 times while running in circles and you should have your 40kc in about 5 minutes, so also no ecumenical key recommended for Zamorak. To get the Seradomin KC, run east towards Seradomin's encampment. If it's your first time entering, you'll need to bring two ropes. Use the rope descent here, which will require 70 agility. Here you can kill spiritual mages, these require 83 slayer to kill. If you don't have this high of a slayer level, you can also just kill any of the other Seradamin creatures, but killing the mages would be the best option just for the off chance you get some free dragon boots as a drop. But since all of Seradamin's followers are such high level, you really want to bring an ecumenical key here so you don't waste resources getting KC. Then just tie your second rope to lower down even further and you've made it to the boss. If you're going to kill Commander Zilliana for the first time, you really should come here with your two ropes, 
Attach them and teleport back to get two more pots from the bank, so you have a full inventory of resources for the fight. To get the Armadil KC, run straight down south and shoot a Mithril Grapple with your crossbow to enter Armadil's Eerie. This will require you to have 70 ranged. After you cross, you can get extra Mithril Grapples from this crate, and it could be useful for Iron Man to stack up on grapples here, so you can drop your Mithril Grapple every trip. Then you want to kill Aviancies here to get your 40 KC, Try to focus on the lowest level Aviancies. But again, killing these Aviancies will waste your supplies because they're quite a high level, so it's definitely recommended to use ecumenical keys here as well. When you kill any of the four bosses for the first time, you'll be guaranteed to receive a key fragment. If you collect the key fragments from all four generals, you will be able to combine them into a frozen key, with which you can open the door to the south to unlock the ancient prison. And here you can find Nex. The monsters here all follow the Forgotten God Zeros, and you'll need an Ancient or Zeros item to not take aggro. You also have to get 40kc to enter Nexus room. I get this by killing some of the Spiritual Mages. These Spiritual Mages give you 5-6kc to 6 KC per kill, so you'll only need to kill about 8 of them. Then you can open the door to the east, and here you can find a bank. So when you're doing Nex, you can just stay in the dungeon, and you don't have to keep getting KC for every new trip. Now I just want to briefly touch on some extra things that'll help you out doing God Wars. Completing the Kandarin Hard Diary will give you a 10% increased chance to proc Enchanted Bolt's special effects. So if you're gonna be using a crossbow to kill the boss, this will give you some great extra DPS. Every boss is accompanied by 3 minions. So for every boss kill, you'll get 4 sets of bones. Having Bones to Peaches tablets will allow you to transform the bones to peaches which will heal for an extra 32 health per boss kill. You don't need to have unlocked a spell in a mage training arena to use the tablets, unless you're an Iron Man. You should bring some tablets to every God Wars boss to extend your trips. When doing God Wars, it's highly recommended to make use of the Ancient or Archaea spellbook. With 92 magic and the completion of Desert Treasure, you can cast Blood Barrage. After you kill the boss, try to stack up the 3 minions and Blood Barrage them to get some health back this will usually get you back to full health, greatly increasing the amount of kills per trip. If you don't want to use Blood Barrage, you can also use the Archaea spellbook to summon Skeletons. The Skeletons attack with ranged, with a max hit of only 3, but they ignore all the defense bonuses from the monster they're attacking. So these will constantly be dealing small bits of chip damage, which really add up a lot and is definitely worth bringing here. In every boss room you can find an altar you can pray to every 10 minutes to restore your prayer. So try to make the best use of this to extend your trips. You can also right click this altar to teleport out of the room and you'll end up right at the entrance to the boss. Every KC you get in the room will be kept when teleporting out. So if you can get 10 boss kills in a trip, you just teleport out with the altar and have an alt or a friend bring you a fresh batch of supplies so you can just start another round of killing the boss without having to get KC or spending an ecumenical key. That was basically it for the introduction to God Wars. If you're looking for a team to PVM with, go join my Discord. You can find the link in the description below. In the next video, we'll go over how to kill the boss of your choice. Just click the playlist on screen now. For some generals, I'll have multiple guides for different methods. Definitely check out all of them to see which one works best for you. See you in the next video.